What's up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com. And today, we're for the second straight week, I should say, we're going to go through the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint Top 5 uh, as I see it right now. This is one division that is starting to take shape, and you've got a pretty good idea who's going to be in it. Even past these five, you've, you've got a pretty good idea who's going to run in it. So a little bit easier to make a ranking right here as we sit one month out. So uh, I won't put the disclaimer of, hey, this could really change because I don't see a ton of changes with this one. So I'll go ahead and pull it up now. Top five for the second straight week. Same five horses, different order this week. Uh, I'll go backwards uh, to uh, here again. Echo Zulu, the fifth horse on the list. Really nice return to the races. Last time out at Churchill Downs. Going to have to jump up in competition without any doubt. But showed her class, showed she's back, showed she's in pretty good form. So we'll see Echo Zulu at the Breeders' Cup, and hopefully she puts on a pretty good effort. Number four is obligatory. I have a feeling we're going to see this horse uh, here this weekend. Uh, not quite sure officially yet as the entries aren't out, but I think obligatory. We'll have a prep this weekend, so we'll get to have a good look at her. thought the trip last time out uh, you know, at Saratoga was – shaky and got got kind of bumped and and i'm talking about the ballerina by the way got kind of bumped to the top of the stretch couldn't quite make that closing kick still got third i'm willing to give her a pass and give her another shot number three is cc and and uh you know last year's breeders cup uh philly mare sprint winner is back uh in, in good form after winning the chillingsworth uh last weekend at santa anita so cc now up to number three look won this race last year but once Gamine didn't fire, that field was a little sketchy. I think this field as a whole is going to be better, and so that's why I've got her at three, but she's right there. What a classy horse this this individual is. I mean, CC really something. Um, been running forever, held that form for a long time as a grade one winner in two on a two-turn race and a one-turn race multiple times. So hats off to CC. I really like her a lot. Hopefully she runs well. We've got her at number three. Number two. Let's go to Kamari. This horse has won two races in a row, the Honorable Miss and the Gallup Bloom. Um, Saratoga and Belmont at the Big A. So both both places had fields that were decent, and Kamari was able to get the job done. Likes Keeneland as well. Very good uh, horse over that Keeneland surface in 2021. Won the Madison, which is a grade one race at Keeneland. This year was third in the Madison. Um, and, you know, didn't run terribly, but just, just came up a little short. So Kamari at number two, feel good about her. And then finally, number one is Good Night Olive out of the Chad Brown horse, or Chad Brown barn, I should say, won the ballerina, the race I was talking about, about obligatory. I don't think obligatory would have ever won that thing because Good Night Olive was so sharp and she absolutely dominated. She has the running style I kind of like for sprints at the Breeders' Cup. Doesn't get too far behind. Doesn't have to have the lead. Kind of stock and pounce. I love it. I think Good Night Olive will be very tough to beat. Chad Brown really campaigned this horse beautifully up to that race last time out in the Ballerina. Now we're going to see her in this big one. And I think she's the best uh, Philly Mare sprinter I've seen so far this year. And hopefully it holds up for the Breeders' Cup. So there it is. New top five there. Same five horses. A little bit different order. we got some more preps coming up this weekend. And so we'll have uh, maybe some different opinions next week. But we certainly will recap this week for you, or this list for you next week. All right, guys, thanks everybody for watching. Hit like if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you want to get alerted anytime we do any kind of Breeders' Cup content. We got a lot coming out as we're now a month away. So thanks, guys, and we'll see you next week.